Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Um, welcome to March Madness. Okay, we will be celebrating God and glorifying God all March long. Okay, it, because it's my birthday. And that's just simply what I want to do is celebrating my birthday. I want to glorify God all month long. The message I heard is let them inspire you. Okay, the scripture comes from Psalm 32. Blesses the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blesses the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. God is saying, allow the things that you have been through to inspire you. Allow the situations you have found yourself in to inspire you. Whatever transgressions you could have possibly done, okay? I'm not trying to say that everybody has done something. This is for somebody that know that they have done something that God was not happy with them doing. Yet they know that God had his foot on their neck, okay? I... For one, I'm not ashamed that I am not perfect, okay? I have not always lived my life the way that God himself would be happy at every single point in my life. Now, I try my best, and at this point in time in my life, I try to live my life as closely to the way that God wants me to as I possibly can. However, I know once again that I am not perfect and that I too fall short and I still will confess, you know, and I still will speak to God. And, um, I, I just feel like God is saying for somebody, um, the fact that you have been able to confess of your sins and, um, for someone you literally, you have confessed of your sins. And you are going to start receiving an overflow of blessings because you have confessed of these sins. Whatever sins that you have done, you went to your quiet place, you talked with God, and you let God know that you completely, um, I hear God saying you are forgiven. You, you have completely repented of what you have done. And you have put forth effort. You have took, taken it out of your heart to want to do that thing again. And God is saying that he has forgiven you for this. And because of this, there will be an overpour, an overpour of blessing upon you because you have uh, refrained from that sin. You have turned your back on that sin and you are turning your face towards God and trying to live your life as closely to the way that he wants you to as possible. That's the message. God is saying, um, understand that he is your hiding place. He will protect you from trouble and he will surround you with deliverance. He will surround you with rejoice. He will surround you with happiness and joy. And um, that's the message. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hear God saying, keep your eyes on him and you can do no wrong. As long as you do exactly as he is instructing you to do, you will be taken away from harm. You will be taken away from evil and you will be taken away from sin. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for joining me for March Madness. I love you guys to bits and pieces and I will see you guys later. Okay, deuces.